Hello, today I'm going to make for you sorrel drink. There are several ways that you can prepare this drink. You can, one, you can dry these, put them in the sun and let them dry, and then you boil it for a little while and then let it cool and then strain it. Or you can just boil it just like this <coughs> in water, let it stay, put the ginger and so forth in it and strain it that you would benefit the most by drinking this sorrel drink you're going to need four to five liters of water you're going to need you're going to need ginger and then you're going to need pimento seed and sugar so be sure take your sarilla and put it in a container like as big as this once it's rinsed make sure it's rinsed properly and washed pour the water over it five liters of water so we use one pound of sorrel to five liters of water so you just leave it like this and cover it put to eat on a pot and cover it put to boil so this is what it looks like this is what it looks like after 15 minutes do you see the rich color? so 15 minutes or after 15 to 20 minutes just turn it off and cover it and keep it covered off and just keep it covered for about an hour or so until it cools then we're going to strain it so just to show you smell rich see how thick and rich this is and it's been an hour since I have it since I turn off the stove and just leave it so you can leave this for like half a day do it in the morning go on the road and come back by the time it's cooled it's ready to be sweetened We're going to add a ginger, sugar, and pimento seed to this. Let's let it stay. <coughs> so next, ginger. This is three, three, ounce, three ounces of ginger. Or three, three pegs of ginger. But this, this way is three ounces. So now we're going to peel this. Scrape it off like that. But just be sure that you peel the skin off.
so you can break this to get to these you gotta do everything get between these areas So once you're completed, once you're complete doing cleaning this off, this is what you should get. So we're gonna rinse this now. Rinse it, rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. Okay. I went and have a sleep. I went to sleep and woke up. And this is what it looked like after. So it got thick. It's kind of still warm. So we're going to strain this now. Now add the gingers one cup of water Add the ginger juice to the side. <coughs> Stir that in, we're going to strain it now. Okay, because I only have this small plate, we're going to strain it twice. Alright, because I, I have to strain it, so take some out. Just do like this. Alright. So just strain it two or three times. Strain it properly. Just to give you a little history, um, sorrel is usually drink, we usually drink sorrel around Christmas time. Um, it tends to harvest around October, November and December and January. After that you don't see much sorrel again. It's a favorite drink for us at Christmas time and most or every Jamaican is serving sorrel at Christmas time. It has a very unique taste and it's very refreshing. It's very refreshing. And from my understanding, it's very healthy too. I don't, ex I don't know exactly what the benefits are, but it, you, you're healthy. You get, you're living a healthy life when you drink sorrel drink. See, just strain it, strain it two or three times. You 
gotta be skillful. You see, I don't have any big container. The only big container I have is this big pot and these other small ones. So this is my third time straining this. So this is it. So now, now we're going to sweeten this. We're going to sweeten it. Now we're going to add sugar. So now add the sugar. What I noticed from the last time I made this, it takes a lot of sugar to sweeten this thing. So far I'm using five cups of sugar. Stirring and taste if it's sweet to your to your liking. So to sweeten to sweeten this, it took me the old bag of sugar. So it's two pounds of sugar. It's seven cups of sugar. That's around two pounds. Now this part is the easiest part. So you just take about one tablespoon of fermented seed and just put it in. One tablespoon and one teaspoon. And just let this float. cover it well and refrigerate and serve it with ice cool when you're serving this you're not gonna do not serve it with a pimento seed in it the pimento seed is just to give it a flavor a unique flavor some people use it some people don't it's optional but I like it because it really give it a unique flavor Perfect. This is optional. You can also add some rum, some overproof rum, um, about a tablespoon or two. No more than two tablespoons of rum to this. But it's optional. If you have children, if you have children, do not use rum. See, what you can do now is pour them into some container. Because what you can do is store it in the refrigerator for for weeks. I think this is good up until Christmas in the fridge and it's just November 1st. 
because the ginger in it. So this is a stew and I have some more in the fridge. So this is what it look like. It's been in the, in the refrigerator for a while. So add the ice. drink. Remember remove the seeds. Sorry I'll drink.